Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. The industry ministry says loans to micro, small and medium-sized enterprises, MSMEs, as a percentage of GDP, are lower in Jamaica relative to the regional average. Director in charge of technical coordination and monitoring in the ministry, Duane Haynes, says local MSMEs are also faced with more stringent requirements when it comes to requesting credit. Private sector credit as a percentage of GDP to SMEs stands at only 32% in Jamaica versus 55% in the Caribbean and 100% in developed economies. Collateral requirements for them, that's the MSMEs, are higher than for corporate entities. MSMEs face disproportionately higher interest rates when compared to other entities. Another challenge is the lack of awareness of business support programs. The ministry says it's working with stakeholders to improve conditions for MSMEs. Gross domestic product for the goods producing industry declined in the January to March quarter. Director General of the Planning Institute of Jamaica, Dr. Wayne Henry, says it was largely due to dry conditions experienced in the first months of the year. Output of the goods producing industry fell by an estimated 0.7% due to contractions in all industries with the exception of mining and manufacturing. This performance largely reflected the impact of drought conditions and a slowdown in some capital projects. The U.S. House of Representatives has passed a bill to suspend the $31.4 trillion U.S. dollar debt ceiling. The dividend, lower, the dividend lower house sent through the bill Wednesday night with majority support from both Democrats and Republicans. The Republican-controlled House voted 314 to 117 in opposition to the bill, sending legislation to the Senate. The upper house must enact the measure and get it to President Joe Biden's desk before the Monday deadline, which when the federal government is expected to run out of money to pay its bills. The bill must progress in time to avoid a default that would cripple the U.S. economy and unsettle world financial markets. The bill, if passed, will suspend the federal government's borrowing limit until January 1, 2025. It would also cap some government spending over the next two years, speed up the permitting process for certain energy projects, claw back on used COVID-19 funds, and expand work requirements for food aid programs to additional recipients. The U.S. dollar is being sold for an average $155.72. $115.32 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. The average cost for the pound is $193.31, while the average selling rate for the euro is $167.79. And to the stock market now, the JSE index gained 1,769 points today, while the junior market declined by 13 points. Among the 44 advances, cargo handlers, Medical Disposables and Supplies, Jamaica Public Service 7% Shares, Pan Jamaica Group and General Accident Jamaica. The 43 losers include Kelly Group, 138 Student Living Jamaica, G West Corporation, Spur Tree Spices Jamaica and Jamaican Teas, 15 stocks traded firm. And that's it for the Business Day. I'm Andrea Chisholm. Good evening.